checking slope, take one. Okay, now we're going to check what is probably the most important part of building a backyard ring. Besides living where it's cold so the water freezes, you got to check the slope to see how much water you're going to have on your deep end. So what we want to do is take your nice rink hockey pucks. You should have got five with your gold package. If not, take four pucks. They have equal four inches. That's what we like to require is our minimum water depth. You stack those up. You've got four inches, so that's going to be your water depth on your shallow end. Take your laser level, okay, set it on there. I know this is my high spot of my ground, so I want to run it down to my deepest side. So I'm going to aim it down my deepest corner. You have to make sure the bubbles are all level and everything. Okay, so we've got the laser level set on the four inch stack of pucks. The laser's going to be approximately four inches off the ground, so that's your minimum water depth here. So now we'll take this down. Right here, the laser level is going to show right here. So we're going to run this all the way down to the deep end and see where our laser fits down there. at the corner here of our deep end of our rink okay so we'll put the board right here and the laser dot is right here okay so this is actually how deep our water is going to be on this end of the rink so it's at 10 inches here so if we take 10 inches plus the four inches that we had down there we have a six inch slope so four inches of shallow water 10 inches of deep water so not too bad that's pretty ideal for a ring system plastic boards you can easily get up to you know 14 16 inches of water not too much more than that before you have to double stack and the brackets will hold 14 inches of water before there's any need to really add any additional support so this is pretty much an ideal location for a rink